Hi, welcome to another episode of Gourmet Cooking for people that can burn water. Happy St. Patrick's Day! Yes, it's that famous Irish holiday when St. Patrick's chased all the snakes out of Ireland. And here in Chicago, we celebrate by dyeing the, dyeing the Chicago River green and drinking green beer. <laughs> but we also love great Irish food for uh, St. Patrick's Day. And today, we're going to be making um, shepherd's pie and soda bread. Yum! Okay, we're going to start here with one and three quarters cups of buttermilk. Okay, and we're going to add one egg. And whisk them to the completely mixed. And then we'll set it aside. All right, the wet ingredients are set aside, and now we come to another bowl here where we have four and one quarter cups of flour. We're going to add all the dry ingredients to this here. We have three tablespoons of sugar, one teaspoon of baking soda, teaspoon of salt, A little pepper. And we're going to whisk these greens all together. Okay, the dry ingredients have been uh, this is sifted together, whisked together. Now we're going to add five tablespoons of butter. Now we side the splurge here and we got the pure Irish butter. So we kind of splurged a little bit for that here, in which we have cubed the five tablespoons cold. Now we're going to take a fork and we're going to mash these into the flour. It's going to take a little bit to do until it all becomes crumbly. Okay, it's all crumbled. And now here's an extra option that we love to add. You don't have to, but we're going to add one cup of golden raisins. Get them all out of there. Okay, I'm going to switch to a spoon just to kind of mix them all in here. Okay. And then... We're going to add our wet ingredients. We'll stir it up. Okay, we got it pretty much stirred up here. Now, I'm, here's the fun part: getting my fingers messy. Okay, sit here and really make sure that everything is mixed together. And we're going to try to form it into a ball somewhat before we dump it onto a floured surface here. And we're not going to really going to need it. We're going to we're trying to form it into a ball. Oh right, we have it formed into a ball. And we remove it to a baking sheet. With parchment paper, parchment paper is a great item to use because it saves your pans from being burnt. Okay. Lastly, we're going to score it one time right across the top nicely with a sharp knife. Next, we're going to throw it in a 400 degree oven. We're just going to bake for 45 minutes. Now in about 20 minutes, halfway through this procedure, I'm going to check it to see, because we don't want the top to brown too much. 
You know, and, and if so, we will take a piece of aluminum foil and kind of make a tent over it to keep it from over browning on the top. But we'll be back here in 45 minutes. Meanwhile, we got some mashed potatoes, some potatoes that are boiling. We got some uh, Yukon Gold potatoes, three pounds, the stuff that are boiling right now. And next, we're going to make the filling for the pie, which starts with about four ounces, about four tablespoons of olive oil, and one medium onion that we're going to cook until they become soft. All right, the onions are soft. Now we're going to add two cloves of chopped garlic. And we're going to add four ounces of chopped bacon. No, I love bacon. And we're going to cook this until, uh, you know, not necessarily until the, the bacon is totally crispy, but, but just until that it's not raw. But next, We're going to add a half a cup of celery, a half a cup of carrots, 12 ounces of mushrooms, one cup of peas, Three medium sized tomatoes chopped. We're going to add a healthy shake of rosemary. And thyme. Because over here now, according to the, the song, parsley and sage. And we're going to stir this all up together. And then, we have one pound of lean ground beef that we browned earlier. Okay, we take that, pour that all into here. All right, now we add a teaspoon of salt, a teaspoon of freshly ground pepper, and, ooh, splash. I don't know if this is the splash, but this is what I'm putting in. This is red wine. We shall continue to stir this. Once we get everything all mixed up, we're actually going to cover this and let it simmer for 30 minutes. Mm, it's simmering nicely. And now we're going to finish the potatoes by mashing them. Okay? We got the three pounds here, which have been drained. We're going to add a teaspoon of salt again, a little more pepper. Okay, we're using four ounces of butter. That's that special Irish butter that we're using for this. And then we got six ounces of cream, milk, or half and half. And we're going to mash. All right, the potatoes are mashed. Okay, we're going to leave this on the side for right now, let them, let them cool, and we'll keep it covered. Meanwhile, our filling here is just about done simmering, which then we're going to turn this off of the heat and let this cool down to room temperature. All right, the filling has cooled. 
and it's ready and now we're ready to assemble we have got a nine inch frozen pizza pan uh, pizza shell okay pie pie shell you're right not pizza <laughs> pie shell that we've let defrost and we're going to fill it with our mixture All right, it's filled, and now we're going to top it with the mashed potatoes. Yes, here we're going to try. Just spread them all out over the top. Pile it up. Okay, we have completely covered the pie with the mashed potatoes. And it's important here that, you know, you want to take your time doing this to make sure that you you cover the sides with the potato too so that it seals in the meat mixture inside when it's baking. Okay? Well, I hear the, the oven uh, timer go off. That means the soda bread must be done. All right, it's been 45 minutes. Taking it out, and as you can see, I did tent it halfway through, so it wouldn't get overly cooked on the on the top. And voila! Oh, that's a beautiful thing. Yeah. Okay. Now, well, we're gonna nice and golden brown. We're gonna let that cool for a while, and in the meantime, we're gonna now. Put the shepherd's pie into the oven for 30 minutes at 350 degrees. All right, here we go. All right. Now we lowered the temperature from the soda bread from 400 down to 350 degrees, where it will bake for 25 minutes. Now, in the last couple minutes or so, though. We're going to switch it to the top rack in the oven and put it under the broiler so we get a nice little crispy brownness on the top of the potatoes. All right, the pie has been cooking for 25 minutes, and then we threw it under the broiler for a few minutes to get a little kind of a golden crust on the potatoes on the top, and we're going to pull it out. There we go. Ooh. Mm. Well, this is, this is quite heavy. Gotta use both hands on this puppy. Oh, that looks absolutely yummy. Okay, it's out of the oven and we're gonna let it settle for a couple minutes before we slice. All right, so I've made a slice and I'm gonna attempt to get this to the plate. <laughs> so we'll go back to the spoon well as you can see the pie held together very well even though that first slice is always the hardest one to get out and it kind of fell apart here on the plate but it's still delicious and we have our warmed soda bread I could have sliced with butter that's melted into it so I'm ready to eat happy St. Patrick's Day, folks, and oh, oh my gosh, gotta have my Guinness.